All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa. Presenting the challenger, the king. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, my fight. You ready? You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to get the knees going. Protect your face. Hands up. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. That's gonna break him. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Both fighters back to their feet now. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Big fall for punch land. Now we get back to range. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Out of range with that one. Oh, good kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice big up land. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. And they separate. Nice head kick. Nice loop and punch. Beautiful body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Powerful leg kick lands. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight. And he oh, now going to the judo. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submission. That's not going to happen this time. You need to get back out there. Aggressive. Let this guy know who you are. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle Ready? up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick. Oh, over the top, 
This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent up and going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful leg kick for Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Three minutes now to go in round two. Big leg kick lands. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, gorgeous combination of strikes. Take down here, he gets it. Both fighters get up now. Oh, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta show off the defense here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Wow, what a head kick. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great point. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Unable to land the head kick there. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside. Oh, my God, he switched the ball to a high cross, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. 
bored that guy. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them just really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big punch lands through the middle. Put your hands up Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Left hand now, unable to connect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Takedown lands. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, you got to be walking off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Back to his feet. Great punch. Big leg kick land. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Good takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Looking to land the right just out of range. Guys, really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh, wow. Oh! There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel, right? That's to his opponent. When it's time to finish. And this might just be a matter of time. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Big kick land. Slips. Left hand counter there. Oh, big punch land. And they separate. Unable to land with that punch. Beautiful hit. Kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back to the feet now. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Not there. What a punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Under three minutes remain in round four. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job. Left chain, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. The fighters back to their feet here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Blocks the shot. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> if I don't pay, then why are you begging me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. <laughs> But if I'm bet, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's gonna get another takedown, so I will try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. That was a thud leg kick. Establish that jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. He 
be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just out of range with that right hand. Way to hide that leg kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Twenty seconds to go. limping here. Very tricky when he throws that one. Body. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Final round, you ready? You ready? So Fifth and final round. Sound defensively blocks the shot. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just unable to quite find that range. You can really limit the of your opponent with those leg kicks. It's there, low kick. Nice head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shins. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big head kick lands. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh, and there is the kick, that one checked by Lee. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got in on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Good work from the top 
here by Lee. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. He's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Unable to connect it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, man, hit to land. Special moves. I mean, Jesus, take down that take down. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight.